Now, just miles away, Massachusetts restaurant owners aren't happy that they're still serving just takeout and delivery meals. Governor Baker didn't spell out today when they might offer sit-down service. As Tiffany Chan reports, owners and employees say that's frustrating. The bar tops are empty, but the bills are piling up. As an owner, I, I, I do feel pressure. It's going to be a bit longer before dining rooms reopen here in Massachusetts. It could be three weeks or more. The most nerve wracking part for these restaurant owners is the uncertainty when they do get the green light to reopen. And for a bar like Fenway Johnny's, it usually has a line wrapped around the corner. What will business look like when they have to operate at a much lower capacity? I'm not going to open with 25 people. You know, to, to invite employees back to make $50 when they're on unemployment, it doesn't make sense. It's not fair. Owner John Curran is echoing the call from the Mass Restaurant Association, demanding the governor set a hard date and guidelines. While Curran is eager to reopen now, the owner of Legal Seafoods agrees with the governor to wait it out. But if the data is telling us that the numbers are still too high, you know, it's, it's crazy for us to plan any. I mean, we're planning, certainly. Uh, but we can't plan in finite detail. Your dining experience will likely be a lot different. It might be a more streamlined menu. It might be a, a service and, and food experience instead of being an hour, an hour and 15 minutes is actually half of that. For places like Fenway and West End Johnny's that rely heavily on sporting games and foot traffic, Quran is waiting on more than just an opening date. You know, without employees in the neighborhood, Without the fans, without the tourists, without the students, doesn't leave much. It's, you know, hope. In Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.